Hello and welcome to another episode of Mortgage Video Mastermind, where we bring you professionals who share insight into the latest trends, tips, industry, technology, and services to help you create more videos to use in your mortgage business. Okay, so we are live. We'll start it official. And welcome to Mortgage Video Mastermind Call. Uh, today, we are December 15th and uh, coming up on the holiday season. So, uh, time of the year, people always start doing the whole goal setting and making the plans for next year and all those kind of things. I like to call it planning. Um, so I thought we would kind of maybe talk about that today and can, you know, how to create some of the best, um, plans, strategies to be able to, to do scheduling for the videos, to maybe batch videos and things like that. So first and foremost, hello. How are you guys? Great. Jason, we haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you. Yeah, I know. I've been, uh, been out of commission, but uh, I am. He's been on the red carpet the tour with all the Hollywood <laughs> crowd, you know. So I know it's. it's, it's it actually looks lot. like he's been out collecting plaques that he yeah, has. Well, yeah, those are those are from before. I haven't I haven't been recognized in at least twenty minutes. So it's, it's been good. But oh, quick. I thought this was I thought this was the Christmas edition where Scott was going to lead us in song. Oh, that's that's not the case. Is that not that's the, not the case? <laughs> no, no, I don't know who sent that memo, but God yeah. rest ye merry. <laughs> this is the caroling edition where we're just yes. sing really bad Christmas songs. <laughs> now that would be a fun video to that watch. That would be a good one. Yeah. Hey, and there's a video idea right there for you, right? There you go. Boom. Drop the mic. Done. Get a whole bunch of people together and sing really bad Christmas carols. Well, and not to get serious about it, but like if you were the type that did Christmas caroling, could you imagine what an amazing video that would be? Yeah. If you went out and you took your family and you knocked on a door old fashioned style, and they opened the door and you burst into Christmas songs. How amazing would that be? That would, yeah. be cool. that would get some traffic. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I love it. So um, a little bit of news, first and foremost, um, I'll back it up a little bit. Last week, we um, did the rollout, the launch of our book, The Leadership Video Planner. And so um, thanks to everyone. Yes, there you go. That uh, got the book. Thank you very much. We actually launched and are still in the number one slot for new releases on Amazon under video books. So congratulations. Um, yeah, so that's very exciting. And thanks to everyone who uh well, that, that's only that. because that's only because uh I see he's on here today. Frank Gray held off on releasing his mouth harp uh video. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's the only reason why we're still in in number one. He he's got a new book coming out, how to do the mouth harp. And uh, nice. so uh, <laughs> that's a team player right there. You gotta that's love a team Frank. player. Yeah. I Long think we need to get release. him on. He's on his, he's listening in. Hey, hey, Frank, type in the chat box. I'll promote you to panelist if you want to hop on and you can uh, join us in the call. We can do that as well. I so, bet you he knows a Christmas song on the mouth harp. I bet he does. I guarantee oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> so scheduling, scheduling, uh, doing video. Is that our topic today, Ms. Jenner? Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so, so I think he's um, going to go on, so. I'm going to bring him in here. Having a planner really helps. Yeah. Yep. So having a planner Step really one. helps, right? Yes. Like a Maybe. video marketing planner. Hmm. 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 That would be a good idea. Yeah. Okay. But besides, and, and so here's the thing. There he is. Hey, Frank. Oh, I, oh, I thought I had mayonnaise on my shirt from my <laughs> 10 30 sandwich because now I live on East Coast time. You know, <laughs> that's, that's me. It's, it's past lunch. Yeah. Yes, it is. So for, right. for me, Ginger, like when I'm planning my videos, what I found to do best, I do my, I do my videos first thing in the morning. Okay. Like, like soon, as soon as the office opens up and uh, if I'm doing them by myself with just like a little, you know, one of those little gorilla tripods, you know, little yeah. $13 tripods you get off of Amazon. Or sometimes Lauren, you know, again, most of the time I just use my little iPhone, but 
But uh, what, what I'll do is like, if I get like, let's say I see something that uh, say, I don't know, say Scott does. And I go, dang, that's a good idea. I think I'll do that same thing, you know? And, and sometimes, you know, I just totally rip it off. And then sometimes I'll just put my little flair to it. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll, as soon as I see the video, I go put it in my calendar, like right now, like, like, oh, I need to get around doing that. No, no, no. Open up the calendar. I'm going to record that on Thursday at, at, you know, nine o'clock or Thursday at, at 1115. And so I just put it in the calendar. And if I think it's going to take 10 minutes, I block it out for 45. Nice. So in all my videos, I block them off for about 45. Because frankly, by the time I get out there and, you know, and no stand over here, waiting, the sun's kind of here. We need to change the angle because the sun was washing right. me out. You know, it always takes a little bit longer, you know, than what I, you know, than what I think it is. So I'll block off like 45 minutes, even though most of the time it's like, gosh, from start to finish, like 10 minutes, maybe something like that. And I just put it in the calendar. I'll put uh, like, let's say if I saw Scott's and it, and it inspired me to do it. Uh, then I'll put a link to his on my calendar. And uh, then on Thursday, I live on my calendar. I see Thursday, 11 o'clock, it's time to shoot my video. I go shoot my video. But I, I like doing them in the morning. I feel like just for me, I'm a little fresher in the morning. And uh, and I just put it on the calendar. If it's something I want to do every week, like there is a thing I do every week, I put it in my calendar now and just duplicate it. Like for every week. For, for the rest of the year. And yep. you know, I, I went on, my, on the calendar thing, man, I went kicking and screaming you know, because I thought, you know, Ginger, I got in the mortgage business because I wanted, you know, a level of freedom and control of my day, you know, kind of thing. So I thought, well, if I if I if I go to calendar, that's like a pair of handcuffs. But I found I found that's not true, that the calendar, it makes me uber efficient and it actually frees up more of my day. Yeah. Well, but it if does I give the you calendar, control of your day. So yeah. it's like if you're going to lose control, it really gives you back some of that. Yeah. To where you know, you know, this is what I'm going to do right now. And it frees up the other time. Yeah. I love the fact. So schedule more time. So make sure you have enough time. Yeah. Put it on the calendar. Put it on repeat mode. So it's yes. like, hey, if I know, um, you know, Friday morning, you know, Friday morning, I'm going to, you know, do it and be realistic. Don't say, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to get up at five o'clock in the morning. I'm going to do this. If you know you're not going to do that, right? Yeah. So let it be something you can do. So I love the repeat, put it on the calendar, make sure you have it. And I loved putting the, the link. So if you find, and how many of us find ideas all the time, right? Where it's like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. And then you save it. And then it's like, now I'm going to go back and look for it. So I love the idea of putting that link in the calendar, mm -hmm. which makes you very efficient because then you're just going to have it right there. So all great ideas. Yeah. You know, you know what um, I started doing in my calendar just recently, and it's helped a lot too, is um, so I use Google Calendar, right? That's that's my thing, right? Yeah. And I don't know if any other, all the calendars do this, but for me, what I found was, is like, when you set your appointments in your calendar, they all kind of have a default color, like they're all blue mm -hmm. or something. <clears throat> so what I started doing was like, I go, I don't want it to be just blue. So like something like this, you know, I'm going to make my video Tuesday morning, right? change that to green, right? And, and, and do a repeat, right? And make it green. So it kind of sticks out, you know, cause your calendar can just get kind of covered in blue squares and like, you know, and so what I do when I, when I, when I, what I think of is, is like, okay, I'm going to color code these things. And if it's a money-making activity, which to me, marketing is a money-making activity, right? So to me, recording a video that I'm going to send out, you know, that's, that's a way for me to generate business. I make that green, you know, and if I have, you know, tasks that I need to do, maybe I'll make those orange or something, or, you know, if I'm going to meet with Carl, you know, I make that red. Cause I know that's really, really important. You know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> but you get me. And, and so the, and so now when I look at my week, I see these colors and I kind of go, oh, okay, that's what I got cooking. And it just doesn't kind of all blend in for me. This is a personal thing for me when it was all the same color. I noticed sometimes I would miss things, mm -hmm. like, even though it's on the calendar, I would yeah. still kind of miss it. You're, oh crap! I missed that, you know, because it just kind of all blended together. So I mean, silly thing, but but it it, it seems to help me. So well, the visual yeah. too, and I love because you're kind of so many things that we do. You know, you switch hats. It's like you know, Frazier. My gosh, I mean, you go from so many different hats that you wear and everything that you do. 
that having that color in there, knowing it's like, okay, this is this is my blue hat, this is my yellow hat. It kind of helps you to put that into that frame of mind. So I love that, Frank. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna say that, that helped me a lot. Sorry, I was gonna say another thing that Frank said that I think is is really important is is think of your video well depending on how you're going to use your video but i love the idea of scheduling it on your calendar it is a marketing activity mm -hmm. it is something that you should carve out time um so i what i i do a couple of different things so sometimes mm -hmm. i'll do a series of videos like the last one that i did a really big series on was the cares act and forbearance and um, and so there were like 20, 23 videos over there. Um, and, and I bulk recorded them in on a weekend, like on a Saturday morning, I, I'm with Carl mornings are good. Um, you're kind of you're more fresh and your mind's more fresh, and you don't have a bunch of distractions. So if you're going to do some sort of evergreen or something that's not super timely and relevant, like breaking news, uh, record three or four videos on a, on a Saturday morning, and you can schedule them out on YouTube. If you're posting them, if you're transcribing them, putting them on your blog, you can on your blog, you can schedule them out, you can schedule them out on social as well. Right. So you can make them all at one time, batch them and schedule them out. And that's 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 an option as well. Yeah, yeah I think that's important. I think one thing that I do and to touch on what Carl said is that um, I, I, you know, I agree in the morning is the best. That's when I'm the freshest. That's where I'm kind of thinking it's before I've, I've had the chance for the day to you know, blow my mind apart with everything that's going on <laughs> and, and all the nonsense that we deal with in the, in the mortgage industry. Um, but, uh, but what I do um, is, is I, I, I have time blocks in my calendar and I learned to do this through like leadership courses and whatnot. And those time blocks, part of that is, you know, you know, I, I started doing the miracle morning way back when, and part of that was like reflect morning reflection, right? So now part of that reflection also is like educate personal development, right? So it's whether you're listening to an audio book, listening to a podcast, reading a book, or just going on uh, like some groups and social media, it, you know, like of what people are talking about, like, hey, you know, with something, you know, regulation or margin compression or something just to educate myself. And then from there, I have like, I write, you know, I, I use a remarkable, which I highly recommend to anybody, but mm -hmm. I use a remarkable to write down all my notes. And then from that, I start getting ideas, right? Yeah. And so um, from that, then I start thinking about, okay, cool, this might be a podcast episode, this might be a blog article, this may be a video, right? So I think it's one of getting that inspiration to do it. And if you make it a habit, right? Because that's really what we're talking about is, is when you're blocking your calendar, you're making habits. And when you make habits, you tend to do them, right? That's why right. they're called habits. And so the more you get into creating these habits, especially when marketing, which is a money-making activity, uh, you can never have enough of the money making activities on your calendar, right? Because that's what's going to make you, that's really what's going to grow your business. So I think you know, everyone touched on it. The, the, the colors, Frank is absolutely correct, right? So like when I jump from thing to thing having, and so an out, outlook, it's called categories. And so each category has a different um, color. And then, so you just make your calendar. So you have greens and blues and stuff. So that way, when I'm looking at it, uh, I know which meeting I want to blow off. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, but I mean, I know which ones, you know, I, I know which ones. Like, true, really, We're so I'm glad you're here this it. week, Frazier. Yeah. <laughs> Strike that from the record. Strike that from the record. <laughs> but you can batch it too. So, I yeah. mean, the whole color idea, Frank, it's like if you want to batch something together, because, mm. you know, when you, when you are coming up with content and when you are coming up with video, you know, your mind is going to be in a, in a different area than if you're, you know, you're making phone calls or, you know, if you're, you know, processing a loan, I mean, whatever, all the different hats. So if you can batch activities together based on those types of activities, it can be very helpful as well. Mm -hmm. writing you know it's like i do a lot of writing in my writing i have to do writing in the morning just like the videos mm -hmm. I, that's my freshest time that's my mm -hmm. best time um and so i just know that's what i'm going to do and i have two days um out of my week um mondays and fridays that i don't book appointments because when i'm doing content creation when i'm you know doing videos I don't want to be running from, you know, doing a, a sales call, you know, or an onboarding call or a strategy call to get into, okay, now I got to think about what's my idea for writing this and what I'm going to do. Yeah. I want to be able to good, like be in the group. And so gonna, for me, so what you're saying, Ginger, is you, you, you like doing like, like-minded type of 
activities. Yes. You know, I've never really thought about that. I really like that. It's a good idea. Yeah, because it's different sides of the brain. You know, it's like, I mean, you're totally, and and if you come up, uh, you know, off of a, and you're going through, you know, having a, a call and, you know, you're talking about, you know, strategy or an onboarding or even a sales call or something like that. And then you have to think about, okay, now I need to be creative. And I need to think about what I need to do as far as, you know, whether it's a video, whether it's writing or something like that. Mm-hmm. Just for me personally, it's hard for me to switch. And so yeah. state, I just like state kind of, of mind is super important, right? Yeah. And you have to, and that's kind of where Carl says, mm-hmm. it's going to be a 10 minute video. Give yourself 40 minutes. It's mm-hmm. going to take you 10, 15 minutes to get in the right, the right head space, mm-hmm. kind of think about what you're going to do, get set up and ready for you, it. You, you know, Scott, and that also gives an argument for doing the batching thing that you were talking about because yes, like yesterday, uh, Lauren and I, we blocked off, I think it was like a, an hour to do a video and it took, I don't know, five minutes, something like that. And we're like, all right, well, crap. We got another <laughs> five minutes to go here, you know? So, well, hey, let's, let's, let's do some more. Let's shoot. Yeah. Let's shoot a couple more. Right. And, and you're, and, and I haven't already thought about Jenny, but you're right, I was in that frame of mind. So it's like, well, hell, while I'm in that frame of mind, I, I had my creative juices going. I said, let's knock out. And I think we ended up knocking out. I think it was like five. Yes. So this is a particular thing I do for one of the, uh, uh, mortgage magazine online version of their magazine I do. And uh, so I, I knocked out five weeks, you know, in a, in a one hour period. So I don't have to think about that until, you know, um, like over a month from now. Right. Do and it. that that's what's good is then you don't have to think about that. But yeah. if you have it on your calendar, then you can get ahead. It's like, for me, I was super excited because we've got all of our content done for marketing for all of our newsletters for the first quarter. And so it's like, for me, that was like a huge celebration, you know, like huge. It's like, oh, I'm not, you know, you're not running behind. And now you can go focus on something else. And it's like, hey, this is what I really wanted to work on. And I haven't been able to do that. So now I can get it, go over there and go do that. Right. And then the other thing is work with someone else. It's like, Carl, you and I did a call first thing this morning. Right. And it's like, if you have it with someone else, and it's on your calendar, then you're my, more likely going to show up and do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, another argument for batching that I've found is is a lot of times I'll go back and re-record the first one because by the time I'm into the second, third, or fourth, I've kind of got a groove and it's like <laughs> I'm feeling good. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I was a little chunky, a little slow to start on that yeah. first one. Let's go back and re-record that first one yep. because you're because you're in the headspace and you're in the you're just into it and 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 regardless of what anybody says and I don't well I I don't want to speak for anybody else but I'm just even though I'm okay with video I'm I enjoy doing video I'm just as nervous getting started on the first one it feels like almost every time like every time I'm getting started and I'm going it's like once the camera's going and you're going your foot you're fine but there's still sort of that that little bit of okay let me get it together so you start talking a little bit and you get into a groove and then you're just not thinking about it anymore so i i still kind of have the same with public speaking i can get up on a stage and talk but i'm still as nervous as i was i think the very first time every single time i do it so you kind of got to get through those jitters and 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 get through it and just do it it's i think it's pretty i think it's pretty normal i think it's pretty natural yeah so the scheduling, let's talk about planning. And, yes. you know, part of it is, you know, the, the first part of, have, of planning is to have a plan. And so, you know, that's a lot of it is to be able to say, and the same kind of thing, like-minded. So put it in your calendar. Okay, I'm going to create my plan. And you could schedule it, you know, whether you're doing video, whether you're doing a plan, whether you're writing content, just create time in your schedule for marketing period. And, you know, put it in there. Don't take it out. It's absolutely necessary. And I think it's an area that a lot of people let go of, that it's a secondary thought, that it's not a part of, but it really needs to be a part of it. And there's so many pieces to it. So if you're going through planning and Frazier, you use the, do you use the rocket book or do you use, which book do you use? Oh, for, yeah, so I use Remarkable. 
You use Rocketbook. Okay, for, there's for Rocketbook. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple of different ones. I use Rocketbook. I haven't tried the Remarkable. It's the greatest invention ever, in my opinion. Because so someone, someone that, that takes a lot of notes yeah. and has notebooks everywhere, yes. has freaking like the legal totally pad. Totally me, man. Yeah, no, right? That was me. Right? That was me, okay. Carl. So I what had, you're yeah, saying right? is this isn't effective. Is that, is that what you're saying here? Well, now, yeah, I, got, now I got 100 of those right here, yeah. and I'm going to take it with me everywhere. And it's just, it, it, no, but Carl, like, honestly, if I, if I could zoom the camera down, you can see a pile of those. That because And then you forget where I wrote this one note or whatever. It's just better yeah. organization for me. So right. and, and the cool thing is you can screen share from it, too. So like if you're on a call, you could start drawing like graphs and bars and, you know, things of that nature if you because I love the whiteboard. So I, you know, visual. So I just like to draw stuff out. So uh, you could use it that for planning, you know, writing notes and stuff like I do. Uh, and you save you know. it so you can save it. So let's I want to I want because I think it's I use Rocketbook, which is very similar. Mm -hmm. So the idea is in this book, it's a book and, and it's a notebook. So it's like, so mine is, I have a little one. I have a bigger one too. Yeah. And so you write in it, it has a special pen. And so you can go in, you know, this one has, I don't think you can see it. I've got notes in yep. here. And so then what you do, there's an app and you upload it and it turns it into a Word document. And then you can save it. So I want you to think about you have notes in your CRM, you have, you know, notes in your calendar, you have notes that go along with events that you attend, whatever. Now, instead of going, you know, oh, I've got this notebook and I'm going to write these down and you're always mean you're going to put them in there. It's there. And then you can go in, you can add to it, you can color code it, you can do all of those things. Um, how much is the remarkable? Because I think that one's a little more expensive. Yeah, it's a, you know, and I've had to find it book. right now. <laughs> yeah, they're hard to find because they go through like you could find them for yeah. like a month and then they're out and of that's stock. That's why for a while. I got the rocket book, honestly, yeah. is because I, I want to say it's, it was like was gonna use it three ninety nine or four something like with the pin three ninety nine. I think yeah. I'd have to look that at the site. Right. Yeah, yeah, that but, sounds right. You know, I'll to me, it's up. it's been a complete like just savior for everything that I do and, and you take it on the you know the plane and then you just you got new pages, you got your notebooks, you go back to it. Like I said, the screen share, it automatically it uploads to the cloud. So then you have your app on your your laptop or your phone. So you could, you know, plug into those, you know, notes as well. The cool thing that I like to do is put a PDF on it. And then I could take notes right on the PDF as I'm reading and, and things of that nature. So that that's that's what I really like about about that. I think Mark got him for his whole team, right? Yeah, he uh, no, he got rock. I don't think he got remarkable. So he got he got rocket books. So, so I that's who those. I heard about the rocket book. Then. Yeah, I want to say Mark got the rocket books for, okay. for so rocket book yeah. basically the same thing, just different 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 brand basically. Yeah, it's a special yeah. pen, and then you could get different pens that erase the ink, right? Ink pens that erase, and there's like a QR code on there that then yeah. you could scan to upload. It's not to me, it's not it works, but it's not as seamless as as soon not. as I write it in here it automatically goes up to the cloud, right? And, and, and I, then, yeah, I so. can attest to that. I got the Remarkable to see if I would use it. I do use it, and or the Rocketbook. And so um, I think I'm gonna get the Remarkable. I haven't, I haven't pulled that trigger yet, but whatever you use, I love having it to where it's easy. And so the Rocketbook, it's I think maybe 60 bucks or something like that. And, and, and you know, for my for my uh, IT challenged people like myself, um, one thing that I do, and I'll, I'll share it here just real quick, is I've got this little I've got this little Word doc uh, that's just simply called uh, uh, you know my thoughts, and it's like every line, every little line here is 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 a video idea that I, I've watched something that somebody else did. Oh my or gosh, this is I'm amazing. out riding my bicycle and I got like literally just hunt, you know, can we get all these ideas? This is, and I just write this down is what my, Carl's brain looks like. I love yeah. it. And, and it's just, you know, like it's something like, 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 like uh, it's like sometimes it's a little one liner, like, like when That's somebody amazing. verbally commits, it's against human nature to go against that. And so now I can do a little video about asking for your commitment of your client early in the game. Because cool. if I say, hey, Ginger, is there anything that would prevent me from being your lender? And you go, nope, Carl, I think you're it. You've just given me a verbal commitment, like on day one. 
Yeah. And, and so that, that eliminates a lot of my shoppers. And so I just write down like these little ideas that I, I, I might hear you say something or Jason say something or Scott or, 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 you know, I see something on a Facebook group page or something like that and, and just creating a word doc, you know, and just putting and them just there. All of it. Yeah. And okay, so you know what? I think that's, that's the next bestseller right there. That book, Carl's thoughts. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so then when I, you know, when, when, when Lauren and I are sitting there shooting a quick little video with my iPhone, and we say, hey, we got time for a couple more. What do you want to do? I just go to that Word doc, Carl Saltz, grab a couple little things, and 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 there we go. You know, when I you know, so that that's what you know. I, I, don't get me wrong. I think the remarkable thing is probably a better way to go, but it would take me two and a half weeks to learn how to use that. It's like, <laughs> all right. So I, know I, I love what you do. I love what you, I I did the same thing, and I called it. I could just call it Scratch. Right. Yeah. So oh, I just okay. call it scratch, like a scratch piece of scratch paper. And then like same that. thing, Carl, I just have, it's a super long of just, yeah. you know, me vomiting ideas, yeah, that's it. you know, stuff on there. Get yeah. an idea. Right. So what I do, Jason, I do, I do this, I don't know, kind of a interesting or I, don't, I wouldn't call it weird, but uh, like anytime I'm riding my bicycle or anytime I'm riding my, I know Frank's a, a hardcore uh, motorcyclist too. When I go ride my motorcycle, I've got a little pouch on the, on the front of my handlebar it's got a little recorder in it and I'll just be riding or, and I got, I got one of my bicycles oh. too. And when I get an idea, I go, damn, that's a good idea. I'll record it. And then every Friday morning, I listen to the last six days recordings and probably 80% of them, I go, man, that was, it sounded good at the time. But when I hear it the <laughs> second time, I go, man, that's a bad idea. Right. <laughs> but about 10 or 20% of the time I go, damn, that, that was a pretty good idea. And so I think a lot of it is just training our brain to come up with ideas and validating it and then saving it and then using them, you know, keeping that as a, like a, like an ammunition dump, you know, so to speak. I yeah. love it. It's a really good idea for videos because you, you'll get, you'll have a, like you just pointed out, you'll have a ton of stuff in there you can use. Frank, well, like one of my favorite things to do is like, like, like if I want to do videos to real estate agents. I'll go into like lab code agents or, you know, find fun, some Facebook group page with agents and I'll go look in there and go, here is somebody made a question. There's like a gazillion comments to it. I go, all right, that's a hot topic. And so I'll simply write down that question and I'll look at some of the answers and go, damn, that's some pretty good answers there too. And there's my video. So I just yeah, go on to other people's great, groups great and idea. see what people are talking about. And I can do that for consumers or realtors or financial planners or, Loan officers, I'm, if I'm looking to recruit loan officers, like whoever I'm looking for, just go to their Facebook group pages, look to see what they're either griping about or asking about or, you know, you know, claiming victory on or complaining about. And, and uh, man, those are, there's a great place, you know, where other people are helping you. And you don't have to say, gosh, will this be popular? Oh, no, it, it's already popular. You, <laughs> yeah. just know it. you, can, you already know it's popular. Yeah. 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 Or does somebody want to know? Yeah, there's already 10 people that have asked yeah. the same yeah. question. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I'm 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 a little nerdier. I'm I'm kind of a guideline geek. So I like I like um, subscribing mm. to all the circulars and the new releases for new guidelines. Great idea. And I'll take those and like what Frazier said is I'll put them on my remarkable as a PDF and I'll go through and I'll just start marking them up and I'll say, you know what, this seems like this is probably something people would be interested in. Mm. And and I think there's also some value, especially with your referral partners. Um, to doing videos about this guideline was just released. Um, here's how this guideline could have helped in the past. And here's where I think it's going to help more people moving forward. And so you kind of establish yourself as this person that's on top of things. And they're usually one or two pages long, especially the VA circulars. They're usually one or two pages long. They're nothing major, but they're clarifications and things like that. But you can always pull a couple of nuggets on, on what's new because anytime there's something new, that means that there's a person today that qualifies that didn't qualify yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, idea. And yeah, nobody's doing that. Nobody's going to read a circular. I mean, nobody's going to say, but they'll watch a video. It's very right? nerdy. Yeah. yeah. So us guideline geeks, that's the kind of stuff we like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like Carl's brain is a word document. Scott's is an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just different. It automatically yeah. sends in the reminder text, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Good topic yeah. today, Ginger. Yes. Well, very timely. Great ideas. You know, and this is the thing um, I, I absolutely love about doing this with you guys is we can just say, hey, what do you want to talk about today? It's like this. And we get all these little nuggets out of it. 
And so uh, that's the amazing thing. And for those of you who have joined us watching, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we do appreciate you and all you do. We are going to take the next two weeks off. So we're going to be off for the holidays. So we wish you all a very happy holiday season. Um, Happy New Year. We'll be back after the first of the year, 2022. Um, But think about what you can be doing. Make your plan. Get it on your schedule. You know, go make some videos. That's the most important thing. And just get started. Carl, you said this and you say it all the time. It's like, you know, the video that you make today is the better is better than the video you didn't make yesterday, right? Infinitely better. <laughs> yes. Thanks, everybody. Love I love it. Thanks, right, guys. Happy Merry New Year. Christmas. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.